Hello, everybody. Today is March 22nd, 2023. Uh, and this is day 52 of making a daily video challenge. If I if you remember, I said yesterday that we're, we're shooting for 200. So um, anyway, in today's video, we will be going through our next section of Greg shorthand. And this will be sections 46 through 48, the, the introduction into using and how to properly form the S uh, the S hook or the S stroke in Greg shorthand. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and look at what the manual says. So unit five, the signs for S. The signs for S written downward are taken from a small elliptical figure thus. So by that they mean that if you were to draw the shape, that's the elliptical figure, and it is smaller than, say, the, uh, let's see, we have uh, in the same downward elliptical figure, this would be your B and your V. Uh, this would be your K or your, your um, F and your P, because you just cut it in half. And then your S would be even smaller, even smaller than your P and your F. Okay, so you simply cut that in half. And the memory aid, once again, they're trying to trying to help us out with the memory as much as possible, but it's, if you take an S and you cut it, you have the two forms of the S strokes, okay? So the right motion is called the right S, and the left motion is called left S. So remember, right motion, clockwise. Left motion, counterclockwise. In practical writing, the sound of Z is expressed by the sign for S, since no confusion arises from using the same character for both sounds in, in connected writing. We already are accustomed to, write, uh, to writing and reading S for Z in English, such as raise and praise. And I guess you'd only ever see uh, raise uh, spelled with a Z if you're a rapper. So uh, anyway... Um, so we have raise and praise. So S and Z are pretty much the same stroke. It is seldom necessary to make a distinction between S and Z, but when it is, a short dash is struck at a right angle to the, to the sign for S to show that it has the sound of Z thus. So if I have race, in fact, I'll do it down here so it's close to the writing. So race, and then if I have to show raise, then I simply do race and then add that perpendicular stroke really. Uh, and that's what it means uh, to be struck at a right angle too. So it's, it's struck perpendicular to the S stroke and that would be raise, raise, gas, and then gaze. So if I do gas, and it needs to be There we go, downward curve. There, and then if I need to do gaze, I simply do gas and then add the right stroke, like so. All right, and then finally 48. The base of the first consonant of a word rests on the line of writing, but when S precedes another consonant, the base of the consonant following the S is placed on the line. So you've seen that in some of our uh, in some of our uh, scripture um, uh, dictation exercises. Words like said, uh, sit, right. So if I've got my line, I, I should have had my line of writing on this one. But so let's say that that's our line of writing. So what they mean by this is that you start S above the line of writing. So let's say we're doing the word said. He said, right. So he. So you start S up here, and then you bring the stroke of said down to the line of writing, and then carry on. Okay, so that concludes today's video um, uh, on Greg Shorthand. Uh, if you if you like this sort of content uh, and want to keep up with my uh, progress through Greg Shorthand, then consider subscribing to the channel. Um, leave a like on the video. Comment if you're a Greg practitioner. I know it, they are few and far between these days, but uh, it, it, it's always fun to know what community exists around this skill. So hopefully uh, I will... I will see you in the comments below this video. 
All right, you have a wonderful day, and go out there and practice some shorthand. All right, take care. Bye-bye.